Good morning, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, we are starting the planking on the main deck. But as you can see, I'm looking here at the directions. I'll try to get it where you can see too. They're saying uh, locate this big piece, the one on the bottom, and ensure that the deck is perfectly aligned with the frames and start to fit into place working in the bow to the stern making use of the layouts fashion on the deck to position it correctly. Apply glue to the top ridges of the frames and fit and pin the deck into place. And then file down the pin heads so that they do not interfere when we line the deck, which is, they're talking about this stuff here. The planking on top of this piece so, I'm saying to myself, wow, they want me to glue this piece down on here first and then put the planking on it. And then put pins in to hold that base piece down and then put pins in again to plank it. Using the one by five basswood strips, that's what these are. And line the deck, inserting a line of pins from one side to the other of the deck. And this line of pins must immediately be on top of each frame member. Well, each frame member is these beams here. And you can imagine me trying to nail pins into these frames, which are made out of walnut. They were laser cut pieces of walnut that have a little arch, arch shape to them. They're not just straight like these other ones are straight pieces that we cut to fit. And we use them all all down here so <clears throat> I'm thinking to myself well I gotta try to actually hammer pins into this walnut <clears throat> to attach the decking on top of this base piece but this is gonna be really hard wood to be hammering pins into so my train of thought is to go ahead and plank the deck before I pin and glue it on to the frames. After I get this planked and dried, then we'll go in there and we'll cut out all these openings <clears throat> to match the profile of the piece, making sure that we um, follow the directions here and the directions here other than this first initial pinning of the base piece and what I'm thinking of doing with all the planks on there already is to see that's just the plywood that's not the planks on that view number 22 and they want you to come behind there and put the planks on. Well, pounding pins into this walnut is going to be um, a good chance of breaking something, bending the pins over, blah, blah, blah. So my train of thought, as I was going to say before, using these, uh, I got a whole bunch of these 1.5 millimeter drill bits or 0.5 half a millimeter drill bits we got a whole bunch of them like 40 of them 
and I'm sure I'm gonna break several doing it and I don't know if I'm gonna get this where I can put it in the press and then drill without having too much shaking and stuff I can probably drill better that way in the press if I can get most of the pinning done with the hole pre-drilled down into that walnut <clears throat> and that would be a lot easier to drive pins in if there's a pre-drilled hole in the walnut and these pins that they want me to use they're saying the um, 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 pins 169, so, one sixty nine main deck pins, there's 500 of them and they're five millimeters long and they're made out of brass, and That's what these are. Time I get that baby in there. Six millimeters plus the head. The other ones are like 10 millimeters. So we definitely not want to use them there. We'll use the shorter ones. And uh, Because they're short, they'll be good enough for this application. But as you can see, 0 .6, 0 0.67 millimeters is going to be just a little bigger than the 0 0.5 millimeter drill bit, which means they're going to hold okay, especially if we put glue down on these frames as we're doing the initial pinning. So that's the uh, plan of attack now. I can't imagine they want me to put pins in here for the base piece and then put pins in again <clears throat> for the planking. But that's sort of what it says here. Um, putting the pins in the first time and then following them down file down the pinhead so they do not interface or interfere when we line the deck. Well, how, there's a good 50-50 chance I'm gonna still hit the pin with the next level, next layer of pins on the top because I'm gonna be in the, supposedly in the middle of these frames with that row of pins. So, I'm going to just do one set of pins through everything down into the frames and then pre-drill as many as I can so I don't have a chance of breaking something while I'm pounding the pins in. Pre-drilling is a little uh, pain in the butt step but it's going to ensure that I don't screw something up so in the meantime if you can see here we got some breadfruit plants setting in some glue right now and I didn't do them all because I want to let these dry before I continue I got some at uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's or something like that. I got a one pretty good sized branch that has these tips on it that I can cut and then simulate the plant. Cut it where the stem is long on the bottom. Stick them down in there in a glob of glue 
but as I go along, the ones that I've already put in sort of push the ones that are going in next over and out of the way. So I'm going to let these dry and then do six more on each side and work my way across before I give it that way. It'll look like there's something there. Of course, this isn't in the this is not in the kit, and it's going to um, make a nice feature to the to the view here. When you look, this will be the cutaway side. So when you look in there, you'll be able to see the breadfruit plants that they're trying to bring back to England or Britain. So I think that's going to be a nice little feature we're putting the plants in there other than just empty pots like it shows on the, on the plan. We're filling them empty pots up with some real plants. Well, fake plants, but it's going to look real. So what I'm doing here is just slathering on some glue and <clears throat> sticking these down making sure they're nice and tight up against each other and every other row or so I'll add some pins some needles to help uh, hold them tight together and hold them down onto the base get them set and dried and we're working our way across. These are uh, half a millimeter thick by five millimeters. So, or no, one one millimeter thick by five millimeters. The other ones that were in the piles of wood or the bundles was uh, 1.8 millimeters thick. So, and there wasn't enough of them. To do the deck so I found the right ones and we're slowly working our way across to get these installed on the deck and then we'll let it dry for a day before we start cutting out all these openings in there so that's the progress I got the rest of the stairways made and they'll be going on <clears throat> in one of these other steps from the top deck down to this middle deck. So we got those done there and we got the other stairways done. There's one here and then there's one here that goes down into the hold of the ship. And then there's one here. So that's the progress so far. It's looking good, especially with the plants. And I use these pins here to uh, create two rails while I glued the steps on to the rails. And they were nice and straight and I let them dry straight. And then I'm taking the a little jigsaw bandsaw here and I'm cutting down in the thickness of these boards or the or the plywood and then cutting out and that gives me a little recess for this to glue up into that edge so that the first step is flush with the floor on all of them that's something I got to do on this one yet. I haven't cut it down. You can see the difference there. This one's been cut down and this one hasn't. So, that's what we're doing today. Okay, as you can see. And all the planking on and very carefully cut out all the holes a 
couple little corners I'm going to go back and glue on, but for the most part, came out really good. Of course, that's going to fit on here. I'll clamp it down and start doing some nailing after we let our bread plants dry we got all the bread plants installed and uh, you know let them remaining ones dry before I mess with this because if you just uh, wiggle anything they start tipping over so took quite a while to get this cleaned up after that glue up yesterday get all these openings cut out get the edges smooth but we did it so we might go on to something else while that dries and get ready for pinning the deck in I got some pieces I can put on the back here. And stairways are ready to go in, but we don't do that until we get the deck installed. So. That's where we're at. Okay letting you see my little setup here we just got some shim so we can extend this laterally and got this level plumb perpendicular with the press and uh, these boards can just slide around so that gives me a surface to set the frame on and move it back and forth while we punch these holes. <clears throat> and I already got a, a couple of nails in over here to hold this to the contour. Got it lined up with the ends where it needs to be. So we're starting to um, get her drilled so we can put the pins in there. I'm gonna do a couple holes so you can see that. I'm going to go right in the middle of the plank and I scribed a line with the engineering pencil where the center of the top of the beam is and was 0.5 millimeters drill bit Punching down in there into that piece of walnut underneath the deck frame. And that walnut is pretty hard, so I don't want to be trying to drive a nail or a pin in there without a pre-drilled hole that's a little smaller than the pin and that'll make it easier for the pin to go in so stop with that row I got a row here and a row here turn the ship around here in a minute but I want to show you some of the pinning process and bring this over so you can see what we're doing and these little 
six millimeter pins. There are little brass nails is what they really are. Get that pre-pressed in the hole we drilled. And this has got a nice flat, hard, heavy surface that I can stick up under there and rest up against the bottom of that beam so it doesn't bounce around so much. And smack them pins down in there good. This is going to take a while. But it should keep stuff from breaking. as we pin this deck down. You could almost push them in there, but then I'm pushing against that walnut and the frame <coughs> and the ribs of the ship. As long as I don't miss with a hammer and ding up the decking, should be okay. If I see that happening, I'll have to try something different. These pins are so little. Little brass nails. you can see that that will get them in there without too much damage and it's definitely pulling the deck down to the ribs and as we go across there we'll start from the middle and work our way out we've already got the middle pulled in to this contour there's probably a half an inch contour going down and then another contour going out so your water would run off the deck into the scupper holes whenever it splashes over the side so I'm going to pin away and try to get this whole center section done today as much as I can and uh I was starting to do two holes on each plank, but then I noticed the heads are so close together that um, it's almost going to look like a solid row <clears throat> of metal instead of uh, separation between the deck boards. So, Instead of doing two at a time or two in each plank, I started with two in each plank here. And after I drove a couple in, I said, oh my gosh, those are so close together. And that's gonna be a problem as I go. And then the other thing is, <clears throat> for the deck pins, they only gave me that many. And if I do two on every plank, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Line of pins 169. So part number. One sixty nine. Five hundred of them. <clears throat> I got a feeling, and it says the five millimeter ones. These are six millimeters added with the head. Uh, could be five hundred in there, but I don't know. I just don't think five hundred is going to be enough 
If I do two on each plank, plus the problem of what it, installation is like with two on each plank, so. I don't know. Anybody's got any comments? Whether or not I should go ahead and try to get two on each plank or not. Feel free to make a comment because from what I saw when I first started doing two, didn't look like it was going to go very well. And then I was worried I'd run out of pins before I got the rest of the deck done. I'm going to do a calculation here on how many boards there are, how many ribs there are, and then uh, see if it's less than 500 or not. And if it is, I may ahead, go ahead and try to go ahead and try to do two pins on each one. These few I've got done so far. It won't be hard to pull up because uh, it's just a matter of prying it loose from the beam and then tacking it back out. But let's do a calculation and see what's going on. Alright. Just another little update. I found a little easier way these pins in. Of course we're still pre-drilling over there on the drill press and that's working out good. I did break one drill bit so far but I got like 40 of them. But this uh, <clears throat> long pair of needle nose pliers instead of pounding on this thing and putting a heavy weight underneath You can see I'm able to sink that pin without any crazy beating on this thing. I did, <clears throat> let me make sure you can see, I did put the first few pins out here on the edge first to pull that edge down to the main beam because in the process of pounding on the other side a few times I did it popped this thing loose from the glue so I had to re-glue it and then pin out here first so it holds it into the beam and then this glue can set on that piece of walnut that's in there so you can see how this edge it's going to have to pull down to the outer side of the deck and that's the same on both sides you gotta get a couple in the middle and then work on the edges and then we'll just work our way out so There's enough space in between these pliers where it doesn't mar up the deck boards. And I'm making sure that the bottom side of pliers is on the bottom of the beam. So we're trapping that little nail and pushing it in there. And that's working out pretty good. This one right here will go straight into the rib. These ones on the edge are a little tighter because there's less surface that's flat under there to grab onto. But that definitely is pulling that thing down with a nice arc on there. 
so when water gets on the deck it'll run off. So that's the new process that we thought of as we're beating away with the hammer. I even took a different hammer and I put it in the bench grinder and I ground off around the edge to sort of give me a little smoother surface so I'm not hurting the decking when I pound the nails in. But even doing that didn't really help a lot. But this process here, as long as I'm able to use this in 90% of the deck, I'll probably be okay. There might be a few spots where it'll be tough to get it in there, but it looks like we'll be able to use it most everywhere to help us pin this down. So these things are so little, like I try to picking them up with my fingers and that's really counterproductive. I don't want to be dropping them and picking up two at a time. But this works pretty good here. Grab it with tweezers first. Put it in these beefy pliers. Poke it in the hole. Make sure the bottom of the pliers are grabbing the bottom of the beam and smush her in there, work good. So we're gonna keep plugging away. I did run a calculation on the count. Uh, 23 deck boards and 14 ribs and then two nails in each one it came out to like 680 so I went to 20 boards instead of 23 which is really still less uh, 14 ribs and it still came out 560 so that's more pins than I got so we're going to use the one pin deal. Okay. Now I get the camera where it's not going to be in the way. This is working out pretty good. Busted two more drill bits, but got plenty of them. We want to get one next to that edge there. That's in the top of that main rib of the ship. So we got a good portion of the center all pinned up. And uh, it's working out so I'm just going to keep on going. I just drilled two more rows, so I'm going to pin them, pin them up. And uh, usually start in the middle and work my way out. Now, this particular beam here has been cut to accept a stairway so we're going to uh, 
have to make sure that we get the right amount of pressure on that without marring up the surface of the deck. I did mar it up a little bit in that area. One of the tricks I learned a long time ago when I was working with a carpenter building a house And we, you know, we built the house from, from the ground up, just me and this guy. And uh, I didn't know a whole lot, but he taught me a lot. And uh, when we got to doing the trim out, and all the baseboards and <clears throat> door frames and all that kind of stuff, then whenever you miss with your hammer and you miss the nail and you hit the wood and it makes a dent in the wood. More than 75% uh, of the time, he said, you just take a little saliva from your mouth and put it on that fresh dent. That saliva will uh, get into the pores of the wood and we'll draw the dent back to its original shape. And of course, sometimes there's a situation where you didn't it too bad and you have to do some wood, wood filler or something. But that's what we did over here because it made a mark of the plier teeth in the surface there and I just put a little spit on it and did it there and over here twice put a little spit on it and let it sit there I'll sand that later but uh, it pulled them little teeth marks from the pliers right out of the wood and it's gone now so I'm going to keep on plugging away here, one tack at a time. Another trick I did was put some of my wax paper down here on the floor so when I drop tack, like I just did, it's easy to find it because if it lands on that rug or this little rubber pad, it might bounce and you'll never find that thing. That's just a little trick. So, I'll uh, give you another update when I get further along. But, uh, we're not halfway yet, but close. So. Okay. Final update for this week. We have uh, finished doing all the drilling here with this half millimeter drill bit on the upper deck. I just finished adding a little bead of wood glue on the bottom side of the upper deck next to each of the rails all the way down but uh, you got all the pins in everything's pulled down nicely and like we were worried about not having enough pins we definitely used up more than half of them that 500 and every now and then along the very edge I would use these longer ones so they would go down into the plywood these ribs are made out of plywood and cross beams are walnut so 
edge doesn't grab near as good with the little teeny short pin. So got a couple of the longer pins on each edge down into that plywood. And using them long needle nose pliers seem to be the easiest way to do it without pounding away with a hammer or pushing on it real hard with one of them pin, pin installers. That walnut is hard. So I'm going to let that dry before I go on to any more work on that deck. I need to sand and paint it with the varnish. But, uh, was a good milestone for the week getting that getting that deck installed pin down got the ladders ready to go in so we got to put this piece on here that was labeled wrong in the beginning on the cutout sheet. It's labeled right here, but it's not labeled right on the cutout sheet. And then I look at them, there's gonna be a lot of sanding and grinding on this contour to accept the planking because the little bit of work we got left with these last few pieces in the ladder. Planking is the next big step. Got a little bit of work here in the back and some planking in the back that's perpendicular to the wall on the side. So we might make your first few boards on planking next week. see how that goes but we're moving right along with the HMS Bounty wood model ship thanks for watching <laughs>